Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, this video is going to be a little bit different. So you guys know I like to throw in a vlog every now and again. And it's the end of summer. So yeah, I want to show you guys what I've been doing over the summer in between making. I've been doing some traveling and I have actually a huge surprise. So make sure you watch this video to the end because yeah, I have something to tell you guys. I've been hiding something from you. So make sure you stay to the end and I'll let you know what that is. Hey girl, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you want to join the squad, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something oh so pretty. Alright, so we have just arrived to Jacksonville beach florida we're getting checked in our hotel at this point we're starving so we go to this amazing seafood place to get food i can't remember the name of it but we have since heard that they're actually closing down it's really sad but um the whole reason why we're going to jacksonville for this weekend is because they have the jazz fest going on so that's what we'll be attending plus hitting up some other places during the weekend so that's where we're headed to now the sun sleeping on the floor and when the sun came out it became my first grammy nominated album so the first night that was the first night of the jazz fest the second day we got up and we went to the beach and we went um, rented some bikes and so we went bike riding you know went, cut some ice cream from the ice cream truck or some drinks I think we got waters or whatever and then we also like walked on the beach it was very nice so pretty um, and then we went back to the hotel and got dressed up or, you know, fixed up a little bit to go to the RH rooftop. So this is in Jacksonville. Um, when I came here, I also realized that they also have one in Charlotte. Did not know it before I came here. But yeah, well, I'm here with some friends, Nikia, Greg, <laughs> and um, Morgan, Brittany Jr., Alicia, and went so they're over there at that other table so yeah it was a fun time the food was delicious oh my gosh but this chai tea was a the bomb here's our food Greg had a lobster roll I had a burger and fries he had a lobster roll as well and so it is amazing views from the rooftop so we definitely did take the time to capture a few photos out there. of you who might not know the RH rooftop restaurant is a part of restoration hardware so that is um, the retail store and they sell a bunch of like furniture high-end furniture and housewares and so they have been creating these rooftop restaurants um, on top of a lot of their locations store retail locations so after we got done eating we walked around the 
the retail area and just kind of looked and browsed. I mean, Restoration Hardware, they have some beautiful things. I remember uh, probably like six months, eight months back, my um, husband had sent me this amazing like chandelier and I was like, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It was like 20, I think it was either $20,000 or $40,000. It was something astronomical. I was like, oh my gosh, I did find a dupe, guys, you guys know, I will find uh, an inexpensive, I do believe in, like, highs and lows, but like I said, they have, I mean, I'm sure if you buy anything from there, it'll last for forever, because they have some really quality furniture and houseware, so it was just great to kind of, like, walk around and kind of see what all they had and just really experience the pieces i love how they have everything kind of set up so you can just really you know feel it sit on it really experience it so you have an idea of like what it would be like in your home so it was a really great time to be able to hang out and walk around and really look at what they had to offer so we took a couple of, you know, some time to just walk around. We kind of split up at times, met back up with each other, and yeah, just kind of really experienced the store. And then after that, you guys know, we never miss a great opportunity for photos. So after we took our rooftop photos, we came down and we took more photos right in front of the right in front of the restaurant so like this last spot is like right when you walk in which whenever we walked in we we're just like so interested to like get in there obviously because we were like hungry but like i didn't we didn't i didn't i mean maybe they noticed it but i didn't notice um just how pretty and stunning stunning it was also you know from the time that we went in to the time that we came out the sun was starting to set a little bit um, so you could just really see the fire pits and you could just really see the light shining against the glass. So it was just a really pretty and I love the greenery, those big trees. That's just like my vibe right now. So stay tuned guys. You heard that? That was a clue. That's my vibe right now. <laughs> That's one clue. Let me know if you can guess what the surprise is, what I've been doing. Let me know in the comments right now if you can guess. All right, so our this is going to be the second night of the Jazz Fest that we're headed to right now. This is the night that I was super excited about because Kim was going to be performing. So, um, yeah, I was super excited about this night. So this is the next morning we are headed back home and so there's no um my friends live in tallahassee florida and we were in jacksonville florida there's no ikea in tallahassee florida so anytime they're in jacksonville they always stop by mm -hmm. ikea i think a lot of times if they need things and pick up some stuff so this is the next part of my trip um, me and my husband booked this Airbnb because unfortunately we were going to a memorial service here in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, so that was a sad part, but it was a really great opportunity to kind of round out our trip in Florida before we headed back to Charlotte in this super quaint little Airbnb in Blairsville, Georgia. So. This is a little tour of what it looked like. I'm gonna tell you guys, if anybody lives in Georgia, this is Georgia, this is a super cool little Airbnb that, I mean, the host, she left nothing unturned, like everything that you can imagine that, just think about needing, she had it there. Look at the s'mores. I mean, she thought of everything. She had the refrigerator packed, she had snacks, 
all the things, all the bathroom things, she had it. So if you forgot anything, you were covered in this Airbnb. And it was so quaint and very small, but she was able to pack a lot of punch in this space. And it was just super cozy. You didn't have much room to walk around, but it was just very, very cozy, very, very comfortable. Um, it was definitely a great experience and I would definitely stay back, stay there again if I had the opportunity. So yeah, make sure you check that out. I'll leave the Airbnb link in the description box if I remember. For some reason, if I forget, remind me. <laughs> So yeah, um, like I said, she had everything in there. I mean, everything, games, coloring books, pens, I mean, you name it, she had it. Um, she left like a little gift bag, that 4th of, 4th of July bag that you guys saw. Um, I didn't open it up, but she had sparklers in there. She had glow sticks. She had um, fresh popcorn. I mean, everything. Now, the drive to get to it, it was definitely in the trees. It was definitely in the woods. I will give you that. The drive is scary. <laughs> All right, now we're at the memorial, and if right in the middle, a donkey goes off. I don't even know what, it call, what you call it, but it was just very ironic that that happened, just knowing the person that we were celebrating. It um, just made it a little bit sweeter to be in that sad moment. <laughs> We rounded the trip out with some amazing boat rides and just hanging out on the lake, watching the kids go tubing. They've been doing this since they were very young. So it was an amazing time to just see them out there do their thing and do rope swings. It was crazy times, but the lake was amazing, even though this time was super sad just because of the memorial, but it was a great way to um, remember our dear friend who has gone on. So, you know, we had to end out the weekend because it was 4th of July with the Big Bang. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to, first of all, we already doing way too much work and this is what he doing? For real? Like 3.9. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. First of all, here's my brother. His name is Demario. And he's helping me move to Florida. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>